Hey everybody. I want to do a quick thing about being out in the sun too long. Alright. I had mentioned earlier this week that I got overheated doing a job. I wasn't out in the sun. I was just extreme heat being in the thing. Being in a building and working. All right, and hot, humid, da 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 da. Shirt sweat, sweating like a hog. And yeah, okay. And I got almost teased, Josh. Well, then I took my birthday off. The next day, I went down to help my sister with putting the flooring down. And then, okay, so that video, if it's not out, is coming. If it is out, then you already know. But anyway, yesterday, here where I live, we had a storm had come through that overnight, so it was a little muggy, but it was, it felt cooler. Sun was trying to come out, so things were starting to dry up. As you can tell, I might be a little redder now than before. Well, or my church, which is going on right now, I feel very weak and stuff this morning so i didn't go to church but i do have to go back later but anyway i had a problem last night after after this my i was out in the sun mowing over at church the guy that normally mows didn't wasn't mowing this week didn't think he needed it well we had that rain overnight and it needed it. I mean, we're going to have a reception after church. And grass was up over my ankles, up up in, you know, in places. Grass was up to midway up my shin. I got it mows the grass there. He's 80 years old. I'm a trustee over at the church. And it's just right behind the house here. Um... If I could walk, it'd take me about two minutes to walk there. If I could walk that far, but anymore, I really can't. Well, anyway, we, uh, long story short, I decided, okay, well, I'm going to mow this so that it's, it looks good for today. Because we have people from, you know, 180 year olds. Uh, anniversary for the church, 180 year anniversary is kind of a big deal. We're going to have guest speaker, and we're going to have people from all over the area, different family and stuff come in for, uh, we're also inducting new members, which they're already inducted. We're acknowledging new members, so everybody knows faces. <coughs> faces and names, stuff like that. So, which my wife's one of them, and I hate the fact that I'm not there with her today during church. But anyway, I uh, you know, it's not a, it's, this was just a, I'm sorry part, you know, I feel bad. But anyway, I go over my, well, the sun comes out. Starts to get hot and muggy because it rained inch and a half overnight in the morning. So I'm, you know, and I'm having to go slow because the grass is so high. I've got a good mower, but you got to keep it maintained to be able to mow real fast. Well, this wasn't maintained real well, so I'm going a little slower. It takes me about, oh... Three, four hours. I'm out there in the direct sun, mowing. We don't have a lot of trees over there. Not a lot of shade. Now I'm drinking my liquids. I mean, um, probably not as much as I should have. But I also, my fault on this part, I had ran out of my reflux medicine. And I had went and got more. So I wasn't drinking a whole, whole lot. But I was drinking plenty. Well. 
I got home soaking wet because as soon as I finished and I was going to go hook my buggy up what happened the skies started opening up I take my glasses off to get home and I couldn't see through my glasses I wasn't wearing a hat and I during the summer I don't wear a hat much well I top of my head it feels warm to me it's because you know if you look here I got a little little sun on my head right so anyway I get home laying down trying to rest and I start to get the heat feelings again similar to what I did but this time worse because I don't have my meds and I'm trying to intake liquids you know I'll take a shower and I'm trying to intake liquids to read you know, get out of dehydration mode, you know, slight dehydration, so I'm taking liquids in, and my reflux is getting worse, and I'm, and I start eating some Tums, and, <sighs> Sam, and, and acids, and I'm, and I'm, you know, all kinds of stuff, <sighs> and right before bed, I take my meds, I'm hot, and me and my wife, we're spending time in our room watching TV, and I mean, I I love her to death, but she's wanting to snuggle, and I get that. But I'm also fighting this heat deal and stomach, and I, it's hard for me to explain it to her. So she's starting to get upset that I don't want to snuggle and stuff, and I'm being real grouchy and tired. Well, I'm not feeling good. I'm, you know, so yeah. So anyway. Right before bed. I'm sitting there. Got my meds on the table. And I'm sitting there. I'm like oh god. I don't want to take these. Because I know what's going to happen. I feel like I'm going to puke. So. Uh, anyway I take my meds. I'm taking a sip Gator. Door's locked. She's in the bathroom. I don't go to my grandma's. I let her keep... That's her room. Take my meds and I'm sitting there. My stomach's churning a little bit. I'm like, okay, let me take one more. Let me chew one more of these antacid, these Tums. Let me chew one more of these. It's not the med medicine I normally take. But the doctor told me for every... He wanted me for every... Acidy drink that I drink, he wants me to take chew up one tum as well. I'm not doing that anymore. But anyway, so I chew up the tums. As soon as it hits down here, it starts rumbling. I'm like, oh crap. I start sweating. You know how it is right before you throw up. Well, I take off. I, you know, I don't move very well most of the time, but I take off uh, and I've beeline for a door unlock it i come outside and i'm like okay if you're gonna throw up now's the time you you know da, da, da. Blah. that's all i'm gonna say pills dinner but whatever was left before dinner and foam from the tums and acid I had way too much acid in my system. So, I'm going to go here in a little bit and go get my, go get me some meds. Get my, go get my meds. And take all my meds. And then in an hour or two, I'll start feeling better. But, you know, just telling everybody this for... I was out in the sun all day. I think I had a touch of sun poisoning too. Probably still do. So. Here's what I suggest for people. Out in the sun. Am I going to start doing it? Probably not. Only because I'm stubborn. But here's a suggestion. I have heat problems. 
When you're outside, wear a wide-brimmed hat. Straw hat. Okay, when you're outside working in the yard or whatever, wear a straw hat. Keep that sun off your head. Keep your sun off your ears. Um, I don't ever worry about my arms, you know, but some people do. If you're going to be out there for a long period of time, at least start off wearing a thin, really thin, long sleeve shirt. You can get those button ups, it's real thin. You can find them at the. Uh, I got something stuck in my teeth, I'm sorry. You can find them at thrift stores and stuff. They're old shirts. Get you one of them just for working around the house. And then when you get too hot and sweaty and it gets sweated through and stuff because of the sleeves and whatnot, you can take it off. You get less sun exposure that way. I try to schedule my stuff in the morning and in the evening so I'm not out in the afternoon in the hot sun but yesterday I just I had no ch choice because of rainstorms otherwise I'd have just done it in the evening <laughs> but anyway I got the yard done looks good well better um still looks like a hay field but it would take if I was doing it, it would take me almost a month. Finally got it. It would take me right out a month to get it squared away. New York squared away over there. Where you didn't have all that dead grass and stuff all the time laying on top. So, real thick. So anyway. Protect yourself out in the sun. Don't do what I do. You know, do what I say, not as I do. It's my opinion. Um, I have some more opinions about different stuff, but that's for another video. <laughs> As always, everyone's entitled to my opinion. I'll share it. Bye.